So getting right to the point, this is the LYPC coin mechanism. I'm just going to show you guys how it works right now. Very easy, coin goes in and allows to spiral, coin goes out and then it stops. And the next one that we have over here is the uh, Venmaster coin mech. Almost all the coin mechs look the same. They do the same function. But if you pay attention, you can hear different sounds and different clicks to the coin mechanisms. I do have three to show you today. This one is the beaver. Now the beaver is the most popular machine and a lot of people like using the beaver over Venmaster and the LYPC machine. Now this one, if you can hear it, sounds a little smoother. Now that's the LYPC, that's the Venmaster, and this is the Beaver. All three different coin mechs. I'm hoping to show you guys these coin mechanisms so that you can decide which vending machine you want to go ahead and buy. There's a lot of reviews, and I will say that the Beaver one is one of my personal favorites as well. I haven't had any problems with it. The Ven Master, I have had some problems. The LYPC, nothing yet, but I haven't owned the machines for very long either. Now this is the um, beaver mechanism. It is made out of metal and this is the LYPC one. It's made out of plastic. Some vending machines are made out of plastic and some vending machines are made out of the metal. So this is the LYPC machine. I want to show you guys what it actually looks like when it's turning and essentially you know there's going to be gumballs in there but that's how a gumball gets dispensed gear to gear. Again, pay attention to the way it sounds, the way it rotates. The one machine has a bit more of a clank, almost like it's struggling a little bit. And I personally believe that this beaver one sounds a little smoother. Hear the clank? Uh, don't get me wrong, this one sounds too, but smooth. Now you can see that everything is here is metal. Metal on top of metal. So that gear from the coin mechanism that I was showing you earlier just connects to the gumball dispenser like that hinge to hinge. Same thing with this one. It's just gear to gear. The only difference is that this dispenser is made out of plastic. Even the body in the beaver is all metal. And then the LYPC is plastic and so is the Venmaster. Now the body I don't think necessarily has, you know, has to be perfect. I, I don't think it makes a difference whether it's plastic or metal. I just think it's people's preference. They could be wrong. 
I think the main important thing is the mechanical functions. Now it appears that the plastic doesn't do as well and the metal does better. Even though I have yet to have any problems, but metal does last longer than plastic does. It's very easy to put together. It's usually just uh, three to two pieces, but they essentially do the exact same thing. So I hope that helps you a little bit in picking out which gumball machine you should buy. I personally have two beavers out on location and one LYPC. So far, no complaints, but we'll see what happens when I go check on them in about a month. Uh, there is more to vending than just, you know, money and collection videos. You actually have to learn about the machine and figure out which machine to buy. And I'm still learning myself, so I'm no expert in it yet, but I, right now, <laughs> I say Beaver is a good machine to buy. And before I go and before you go, I do want to give out a huge shout out to my friend Dakota Hall. He just released a podcast that I'm going to be linking in the description below. Please check it out. It's called the Dakota Hall Show. It talks about vending, business, a lot of topics that I think you're going to be interested in. Because if you're watching this, you obviously want, you know, to help your business and your own financial strategies. So you might like it. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.